Hey y'all, welcome back to Trendy DIY 29, back with another video. This will be a small little video. I was trying to film this maybe um, on a brighter day, but I looked out here and there's some stuff that's ready. I came out here to get some things for my dinner. I'm making some chicken alfredo, so yeah. But I'll show you guys what I spotted. Now look at these, they're going, they're growing really, really well. The beans are going well get my scissors and go over here to show you guys and look here goes the cabbage looper they are ripping these apart I still have not been out here to cover my leaves with tool because they are literally destroying them and you just pluck them off but they're like everywhere they're all over my plants like I'm really going to have to do something about this because it's terrible. This is really really bad. Like guys, look at all they literally shredded all the curly kale is done. I'm trying to hold on to the little bit of collards that I have left, but I think I'm just going to go ahead and um plant some more and just get them started because I'm not going to try to hope that all of these survive. I need way more plants than this. So um, the goal is to have like a full entire um, like a full entire bin like this filled with greens for the winter time and as you can see I did have a nice amount of plants but they've eaten a lot of them. Okay. So over here guys I want to show you look at these cucumbers. They're ready to go. There's so many more cucumbers. This is water that I put in here. But you guys can see it's so many cucumbers being formed on this thing. So I'm going to go ahead and harvest these two. I might end up making chicken alfredo and a salad or something. I'm trying to be careful. So you guys can see that. Okay. And I think it's hilarious how this one's growing like circular because it's like trapped right here. Let me move it out. Do you see that? Cucumbers will grow weird if they are in a weird spot. So These are definitely um, believe that these are the national pickling because they're smaller and stocky. And I don't know what's going on with this because you can see it has a lot of flowers on it, but I don't really see that much um, action. My tomatoes look sick now. They did dry out a little bit and now look at them. So I'm going to have to start spraying these down, doing some serious pruning to them. Look, we had just had a hard rain as well, so plants look jacked up. You can see the echinacea is about to bloom. The beautiful calendula, my giant pretty beefsteak tomatoes. I'm gonna go ahead and get those. Let me see, they're ready. It's firm, but I can't really twist it off. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna wait and I'll just get those tomorrow because it's really wet and you really want to harvest your um your tomatoes when it's um a hot day and when the soil has dried out a little bit because that's when it will have the most flavor if you harvest your tomatoes when after it has rained you're gonna dull out the flavor a lot my squash guys as you can see it dried out and literally I have one plant left the one in the corner as you can see it's big and beautiful the other two died so I'm gonna plant some more squash but I need to get in here and get this one which is huge I don't know if you guys can see that I got it. Now you don't want to really let your squash get this big. But that's a nice size squash. You can see the large eggplant guys is finally coming in. Look how big that bulb is. I cannot wait. 
And I'm going to have to do something about this water bottle because they're going to get gigantic. So something needs to be done about that. You can see my yellow tomato is growing okay. Onions. This stuff looks a little weird. I need to get out here and really clean up this garden. Because drought can really make your garden look messed up. I have some of these million tomatoes. Go ahead and take these. And I can see why they call them million. Because they just grow in large clusters. So, just want to get as many out as you can. And I'll leave the rest. I'm walk over here to the green stalk, see what's going on. I need to do something about this because you guys can see this tomato is like growing on the ground and that is just inviting for disease. So I'm going to have to stake it up on something. But I'm going to show you guys. We finally have purple beans growing. Look how beautiful those are. They are so pretty. Look how pretty those are. It doesn't look like I'm going to get that many. But I just like to see how things grow and once I see how they grow you know exactly how much you actually need um, if you want to grow a lot we have Japanese eggplants are coming in and you can actually harvest eggplants in any size so if I wanted I could cut them now but why do that look how big these cucumber leaves are guys they're freaking huge and the cucumber I believe he is all the way he started all the way down here at the bottom was like look this is where the cucumber started at the bottom of the green stalk it's grown up through the ground cherries it's wrapping itself around everything it's like crazy so I'm gonna have to figure out like if you guys see it's all around here it might start to try to strangle other plants as you guys can see it's holding on to the eggplant so I need to do something about that the ground cherry, I would never grow this. I want to really rip it out, but I feel like it's already here and it's growing a lot of stuff. I just need to leave it alone. I just know I will never plant this again and I need to get some seeds out of these. But I just ate a whole batch of ground cherries the other day. I just love that. So pretty. Look at my cayenne. is starting to curl. And I'm getting a nice amount of cayennes on there. You can see my bell pepper is growing slowly but surely. They take a while. And there goes a little baby one up there right behind it. And another one coming in right there. So there's two bell pepper plants in here. Here goes some giant beans. I'm going to go ahead and get these. These are a nice size. And I just throw these in the freezer bag and freeze them as they come in. But I have yet to get like a lot of... Um, beans like enough to say oh I'm gonna get all a lot of beans in one day no that really I'm getting little by little by little I really haven't gotten enough beans to make a whole dinner yet out of beans I have to actually save up the beans and over a period of days of picking them and then I'll have enough which I don't like these are the dragon tongues very slow but I feel like a lot of this is because I probably took them outside too didn't harden them off long enough I'm just checking to see if there's more beans because I know it is. It's just this stuff is just this needs a heavy pruning as well. Um, the Swiss chard is growing beautiful now. Look how big and gorgeous it is. So I'm going to start a lot more Swiss chard because I really like it. I like the fact it's versatile. I can use it as a lettuce. I can use it as like cook it like a spinach or a kale. Really versatile. This eggplant was delicious too. I ate it. I really enjoyed it. And yeah, I feel like there should be more beans, but I just don't know where they are. Because there's just so much stuff in here. Like, look at this ground cherry, people. Like, look at this. It's huge. So, and these are the baby tomato plants. I left them both in, but I don't know how they're going to work. They're taking freaking forever. But yeah, the beans look like they're doing better. But... It's just really not the lemon cucumber is growing good. The lacinato kale is growing great. This is the empire cantaloupe. It's growing good. So yeah, guys, this is 
basically everything that's going on in the garden you can see those flowers need to be deadheaded a lot of stuff needs to be cut down whenever you have a really bad storm like we just had um and it was really really dry your garden kind of looks funky and look at these flowers look how tall the marigolds got these should be almost the height of this fence by close to the end of the summer so i'm really excited because they have bulbs and buds on them about to open up so yeah they look great and the trellis you can see it's slowly making his way up there but yeah guys make sure you like you share and you subscribe and this is the harvest that i got out the garden you can see the harvest as the summer goes on it's getting bigger and bigger i got two cucumbers a big squash two little green beans and some cherry tomatoes and i'm gonna take these in the house and try to make a really good dinner with it um i probably will not film this dinner i'm backed up in videos guys that i need to upload so i'm gonna try to get those videos up for you so make sure you like, you share, and you subscribe, and I will be back with another video.